Hi, my name is Steve Schultz, and this video is going to show you how to connect an FPZ three-phase blower for either high or low voltage. FPZ blowers are typically supplied with all-world motors, and as such, they can be operated on various power supplies. In order to meet the required supply power, it may be necessary to change the connecting bars in the electric motor terminal box. FPZ blowers generally leave the factory wired for high voltage. You'll note throughout the video that there's no power connected to the blower. We're simply orienting the connecting bars for the proper configuration. First, we need to determine the supply power and to verify that the motor is suitable for the power supply. Your electrician should be able to tell you the supply power. For this demonstration, the supply power is 230 volt, 60 hertz, and three phase. View the electric motor nameplate to make sure the blower is suitable for the intended supply power. For this motor, the maximum voltage is 460 volts, 60 hertz, or 400 volts at 50 hertz. The high voltages are designated by Y. The minimum voltage is 208, 230 volts at 60 hertz, or 200 volts at 50 hertz. These voltages are designated by YY. Every motor comes with a wiring diagram, which is usually located inside the electric motor terminal box. Always use the wiring diagram that is supplied with the motor. The most common configurations for a six lead motor is delta Y, also referred to as star delta. The most common wiring configuration for nine lead motors is Y or YY. The symbols on the wiring diagram are directly correlated to the symbols on the motor nameplate. From looking at the nameplate, we know that the YY configuration is suitable for 208 to 230 volts, 60 hertz, or 200 volt, 50 hertz, and the Y configuration is suitable for 460 volts, 60 hertz, or 400 volt, 50 hertz. The blower is currently connected for 460 volt, 60 hertz, or 400 volt, 50 hertz. If our power supply was 460 volts, 60 hertz or 400 volt 50 hertz then the electrician would be ready to make the incoming power connections to t1 t2 and t3 and the ground connection located in the terminal box since we need to connect for low voltage we will need to rearrange the connecting bars in the terminal box to the yy configuration to connect for 230 volt 60 hertz remove the nuts remove the connecting bars note that two of the bars are double stacked Place the connecting bars per the YY wiring diagram. One bar is placed on T4 to T5, one bar is placed on T5 to T6, one bar is placed on T7 to T1, one bar is placed on T8 to T2, and one bar is placed on T9 to T3. This motor is now connected for YY or low voltage. The incoming power will be connected to T1, T2, and T3 along with the appropriate ground. Understanding the symbols star, delta, and Y, YY, and how they correlate to the nameplate is important because some motors are rated for 460 volts or 400 volt in a delta connection. In this situation, we see that the motor is rated at 380 to 480 volts, 60 hertz, or 400 volt, 50 hertz. This is considered low voltage because the Y configuration is 690 volt 50 hertz or 660 to 830 volt at 60 hertz. The electric motor may also have a thermal protector. There are different types of thermal protectors, but the most common is designated by PTO. The thermal protector is an independent circuit and it must be connected to an external device in order to protect the motor or provide an alert. Remember, this video represents the most common type of three phase wiring and it may not represent your specific motor. Always use the wiring diagram that's applied with the motor before you make any power connections.